All right, today we're going to be looking at an elevator. All right, an elevator example within Unity. So first off, we have to set up our scene. Our scene is going to consist of a few cubes. I need a landmass. I'm going to throw out a player character out there. I can judge land mass, massness. All right. I also need another land mass. This land mass is going to be up here. I need a little landmass. This one is going to be the elevator itself. That's going to get the player from here to there. All right. Another thing I need is a few little boxes, and I will explain what these are as I start scripting them. But they need to look a lot like this. They cannot be touching anything because they are triggers. So I'm going to put that right at the edge. Also, make one that goes up here. Same rule. If I hit F on the keyboard, it allows me to jog up to there real quick. And I can see if this is touching or not. It's not. Okay, one more. F on the keyboard. This one goes on the elevator. Just like that. Maybe set it back just a little bit so the player has a chance to actually get on the elevator before it starts moving. What wouldn't be nice is a light within the scene. So a directional light. And we'll just put this directional light off to the side here. Start moving around so all objects have their own like little code of color here. So I can start distinguishing what's in the foreground, background, all that good stuff. All right, hit play just to kind of look around, make sure I'm not clipping through anything. These I'm going to run into right off the bat. Good. So your scene should look a lot like this. Okay. Landmass, landmass, two blocks, another block. Now we should probably take this and start labeling these. Uh, up floor. How about upper floor? This one is going to be called ground floor. We'll call this trigger one. This one trigger two. And last but not least, the elevator. And the trigger that goes on the elevator. Elevator trigger. Okay, what else have we got? Uh, huh. We got trigger one. Good. So everything's really well organized. Trust me, you're going to need organization for this. The scripting isn't very long for this, but it is highly confusing. So meet me in the next video where we start scripting this away.